Hello, it's Shannon. Welcome to the Korean Grammar Warehouse. Today, you are going to learn two representative ending words which function as the basic forms to finish sentences. The forms have the common part to combine with the words which starts with a o. So, if you are not clear with the pattern rules, please check it first in the previous lectures. And now, let's see the words beginning with the form a o that function the tense. There are dozens of ending words in Korean. They can be divided according to who is the person in the conversation or divided into the case of having a partner and talking to oneself or divided into spoken and written. Of all the ending words, a o y o at o s o y o are the most common forms to use. These forms are usually used when talking to others and can be used to communicate with others, such as letters to send to friends. However, they are used if the person is not as close as the family members, but the level of intimacy of the relationship may vary depending on the person. It is also used only in the form where you is excluded for young children and animals. If you understand that the following predicates in English include the ending words with verbs in the case of Korean, because English and Korean are different in word order, you can see that there is a tense in them. You use a o y o for current content and at o s o y o for past content. These two words are always located at the end of the sentence, but their use has several characteristics and commonalities. Let's look at the pattern rules first. a o y o is a present ending word. And the form is basically related to the energy of yang and in, as it is a combination of a o, learned from the first video, with yo added to the end. However, when combined with a noun, the form ye yo or ye yo is used behind consonants and vowels respectively. The forms are as follows. So these words which have vowel endings come into 가요, 서요, 와요, 줘요, 셔요, 쉬어요, 켜요, 대요, or 대어요. And these words which have consonant endings come into 좋아요, 알아요, 웃어요, 적어요, 있어요, 없어요, 늦어요, And these words change the form in irregular ways for each. So they come into 들어요, 추워요, 커요, 아파요, 예뻐요, 잘나요, 불러요, 그래요, 지어요. Lastly, the nouns have two patterns as mentioned. The vowel of E is inserted right in front of the last letter Yo and is used in the form of Yeyo and Yeyo. Through the process of following by e y a or y a depending on whether or not the words have consonant as the last alphabet before adding the vowel E and Yo. So when e y a and the vowel E are put together, it forms e y e And in the case of y a it forms ye before the final letter of the present ending word. So the words come into 의사예요, 가수예요, 학생이에요, 회사원이에요. Now let's find out what a o y o functions in sentences. a o y o is used if it is a declarative statement for content that has not yet been finished since it occurred or started in the past 
or that is happening at the right moment. And that is repeated every time in the same situation. And also, you can express states or feelings with this word. Basically, the word is used to refer to the current tense for ongoing things in the present time. In addition, if it is almost certain about the future, the current tense a o y o is also used. Here are the examples for each of the function. 저는 요즘 한국어를 배워요. These days, I learn Korean. Number two. 저기에서 사람들이 노래를 불러요. People are singing songs over there. Number three. 한국은 5월에 날씨가 따뜻해요. The weather is warm in May in Korea. Number four. 그 건물은 높아요. The building is tall. Number five. 한국어가 쉬워요. Korean language is easy. Number six. 제가 다음 달에 고향에 가요. I am going home next month. However, the word is not only used in declarative statements. It is also used in dialogues as a question, a proposal, and a command, which we call imperative sentence. Here are the examples. Number six. 몇 시에 수업을 시작해요? What time does the class start? Number seven. 우리 같이 먹어요. Let's eat together. Number eight. 그럼 내일 학교에서 만나요. Then let's meet at school tomorrow. Number nine. 잘 가요. You go with no problem, which means goodbye. Number ten. 내일이 시험이니까 열심히 해요. You have a test tomorrow, so do your best. So, the example sentence at the number six, it's a question. And when you speak it out, usually you raise the tone at the end. When used in a proposal, it is often used with words such as 우리 or 같이 or 우리 같이 or none of them. It's important to note that when using 우리, the use of one of the particle 는 after 우리 is limited to the case that only you try to do other things without doing same thing of the word that combines with 아 o 요 which means generally you use only 우리 with no particle when you use 아 o 요 as a proposal. In addition, you omit the other person in the conversation that is you, Y-O-U. In the case of using the word as a command, it's more common to take the form of 의세요 rather than 아오요. This is because the corresponding act only applies to the other person in the conversation, so it is an ideal form of utterance to insert the respectful word 시. 의세요 will be explained in another video later. You usually omit you in the case too. The ending form at o s o y o is taken for content that has already been terminated in the past. 
which is also followed by a soil right after the base of a or combination form. Since the form of a or soil is made by combining a or and soil together, the basic form of representing the past at the end of the sentence becomes a or soil, which is a common form of grammar used by most of the institutions teaching Korean. Thus, examples of past termination forms combined with vocabulary are as follows. 가다 takes the form of a or first and then adds the past form a soil to make it past tense. So, 먹다 comes into 먹었어요. 듣다 comes into 들었어요. 쓰다 comes into 썼어요. 빠르다 comes into 빨랐어요. 춥다 comes into 추웠어요. 짓다 comes into 지었어요. 그렇다 comes into 그랬어요. The past tense of 앗 어서요 is functionally different from the present tense of 아 어요 in that it is always used only as statement and question. On the other hand, when combined with nouns, the form is slightly different. The form too is made based on the present forms 이 어 and 여 which are the forms combined with nouns and then the past form 어서요 is added. Therefore, the nouns that end in consonants are used 이었어요 and the nouns that end in vowels are used 였어요. So each of the following words take the form as follow. 학생이었어요 미국 사람이었어요 가수였어요 치마였어요 Sometimes, however, Koreans use the past form of ot with another at ot in a row. This is used to refer to the content of the past that is more than that of the past. So it is also has a different meaning than when at ot is used only once. The use can be divided into three parts. First, it means that the resulting situation is back as it were the first. For example, 제 친구는 결혼했어요 is an expression used to make up a family after a wedding, while 결혼했었어요 expresses that a marriage occurred once, but there was an act of making the situation into the past after living in a family. In other words, 결혼했었어요 can be understood as the word 이혼했어요, divorced. There are some people who are more familiar with the expression 결혼했었어요 than 이혼했어요, which is also related to individual language preferences. Second, it is also used to talk about experiences with an object. For example, you say 친구가 고향에 갔어요. My friend went back home. It means that you are not in the same place as the friend right now because the friend moved to his hometown away from you. However, 친구가 고향에 갔었어요. My friend has been home. It means that the friend went home first but moved to another place, so you don't know where he is now, or the friend came back to where you were again after visiting his hometown. Third, it is also used to emphasize that some facts have become past and are completely different from the current situation or state. For example, 어렸을 때 예뻤어요. You were pretty when you were young means that you were pretty in the past, but you don't have a feeling of relationship with the present. But 예뻤었어요, you were pretty, means you are no longer pretty now. In fact, however, the addition of at-ot in Korean tends to be avoided, 
Therefore, it is recommended only if there is no other appropriate expression. So, today we've looked at aoyo and at osoyo that are used as the closing functions of sentences. Future content does not use sentence ending patterns that begin with ao and will be explained in another lecture. Thank you for watching. See you next time. 감사합니다.